Hi, let's talk about the unstoppable wasp, girl power. The Unstoppable Wasp Girl Power is one of these um, Marvel digests where you essentially get the, say, two trades worth-ish of um, stories in one small, easy to read package. They're aimed at new readers or younger readers, but the stories are perfectly um, good for people you know older like me to read as well, and they're very cheap to buy, um, certainly against the price of the two individual trades. And I actually prefer this smaller compact version to having to have the trades because it takes up less room, it's a more efficient way to read, and particularly with these stories that you otherwise wouldn't necessarily touch because you're not that interested and you don't want to spend that much money on them. I think they're excellent. And I'm waiting for a sort of um, West Coast Avengers um, one to come out as well because they did it with the private Hawkeye Private Eye I'm waiting for the West Coast Avengers one, which would be a good pick, I think. Anyway, this one follows Nadia. Um, an Ill illegitimate child of Hank Pym. She's um, escaped from the Red Room and she's taken in by Janet Van Dyne um, and she's helped by her and Bobby Drake, Mockingbird, to integrate back into the world. She's been sort of in this think tank all her life. She's a genius and she's got this super upbeat attitude. She decides that she wants to help the world by putting together a female-led think tank herself um, called Girl Power, or Girl rather, um, and she does this by having a sort of trip around the Marvel Universe and collecting, or in, let's say trying to collect, uh, young female geniuses that you may have touched on in other stories. Um, some of them are new, some of them aren't. I mean, you've got like Moon Girl in there and that, but what you essentially get is this sort of really positive sort of go-getter story of this young woman who's had problems in her life going out there and trying to make the best of what she's got and not letting things stop her. You know, she's certainly her own character. Um, she certainly has problems that come back to haunt her towards the end of the story. Uh, and she doesn't always get what she wants. Not everyone wants to join her group, uh, which I won't spoil because, you know, that's what you read the story for. Um, uh, it's nice seeing some of these other characters um, use like Mockingbird that, that they remind you of her scientific background um, you also get nice bits from Jarvis as well um, the butler to the Avengers uh, and it's just nice to see a sort of positive happy story um, around this time it's not mess massively long and um, this the follow-up book in this digest format is due to come out soon um, at the time of this video being recorded uh, and I certainly think if you've got sort of a young daughter, niece, what have you then this would be a good book for them if you want them to get reading and not just looking at screens during say lockdown period um, I will be giving this to my niece to read and I've already given her the Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur book um, and the DC Black Canary Ignite book which she really enjoyed so I think this would be good for her as well um, and I think it's just a nice pleasant story and it's not that expensive. I put the price up um, if I haven't already on screen along with the page count but look let me know what you think about it. Is, do you think that it's just a nice good story for younger readers to have or new readers um, or do you just think she's a character that will be thrown away and not used in the future? Uh, let me know. Please feel free to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.